Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on Thursday, 14 Feb. I believe it's Valentine's Day today. Uh, so if you're into that shit, uh, have a good Valentine's. We're going to open up with this dollar yen chart here. Uh, we think this is going to run out of steam up here between 25 and 30. It's 200 day moving average, plus uh, it's these highs from the 26th. Plus, um, we think risk is going to turn here, as we talked about yesterday, uh, towards the end of this week. So this would be a nice place to get shorts and dollar yen, just as a tactical trade. I don't think this is going to be change in trend, um, but I do think tactically uh, you'll be able to make some money from shorts and dollar yen up at 30. Uh, let's look at this ES. Yesterday we couldn't help ourselves. We did sell ES a couple of times. Because we talked about this, this is a sell from 27.50 all the way to 28.15. So I know that doesn't really help. It's too, you know, what is that? That's that's four percent. You know, any muppet can uh, pick a four percent target sell area. Uh, what we're supposed to be doing is being exact about our entries, and the entry is supposed to create the least amount of pain as possible. But what you do here in, in the 50s, between 50s and 60s, and what I was doing yesterday is you just sell a little uh, and then you buy it back. Uh, and you sort of rinse and repeat on the sell side. And as you do that two or three times, you sort of get a better average. So if you sell 58s and buy 53s, sell 58s, buy 53s, you know, the third time you sell 58s, you're actually net short at 68. Um, and you want to get that average above 28.18, uh, which is hard to do. Uh, and you have to be very disciplined in this kind of style. Um, but we're going to do more of the same today. Uh, we do think this is going to break 27.64, so we'll wait for the stretch moments during the day. That might be up at 72 or 74. Or it might be sort of macro-induced. Um, so yesterday, as oil turned, uh, we, we became sellers. So that was sort of a macro-induced signal yesterday. Anyway, the point is, is we're getting our bare boots on. We're trying to pick this top. Uh, we're not there yet, but we are watching this very, very, very closely. Euro yen today, sell high ones as well. We're committed to this trade. We've got German GDP, we've got uh, flash European GDP. None of this is going to be good. Uh, we sold just before the numbers yesterday, up at 35, traded all the way down to, you know, figure. Um, just tactically short euro yen is uh, is the way to go today again. Dollar czar now uh, continues its march northward as we've been talking about. I did not participate in this uh, rally yesterday. Now we're looking for some sideways consolidation, maybe make a right hand shoulder here for eventually a move to break this sort of slightly downward sloping trend line. Uh, and head all the way back up to uh, 1470. Uh, Rand is fucked. It's I don't even want to get into it, but super crowded, uh, and you know the fundamentals over there are just pretty crappy. Let's face it. What else? Dollar CAD. Uh, we're, we're playing this on the long side. Yesterday we were nibbling down at 25, we were selling up at 55, uh, today we will do, do the same. We are obviously keeping an eye on crude. Wild day yesterday, wow. Uh, that move from 60, 54.60 down to 54 bucks after uh, about 40 minutes after the release of uh, inventories. Wow, impressive. That thing is insane. Um, Anyway, we think crude is, is probably going to going to turn. We don't. We're not trading the crude, but we're all, we're just helping us, help helping us, helping our dollar CAD timing uh, by watching crude closely. Anyway, we're on the long side dollar CAD, and if you put it all together today, you can say, "Hey, Ryan, you're selling uh, dollar yen, you're buying dollar CAD." Um, 
So those of you who have been in the market a while, I'd be like, oh shit, he's short cad yen. Yes, uh, short cad yen. We don't think this is going to make a new high here. Uh, we like the turn here somewhere between 84, uh, 83, 95, 84, 05. Um, we like CAD yen lower. So this is what we got on tap today. We got U.S. retail sales later uh, and core PPI. Those might be strong, which will uh, take U.S. bonds to the left. Um, but let's get through the European morning first. The focus is on German GDP and European GDP. Good luck out there, people. Make some money. Talk to you later. Ciao.